There you go. First injector that we removed is not seized. Number second cylinder. Yeah, that's how it looks. <laughs> Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Hello, guys, welcome to All Over the Mechanic. And today's episode, we have a good episode today because we're gonna replace a injector. Here's the injector, six of them. Five, six. Yep, this is how it looks. Injector of a Toyota Land Cruiser. Yep. And yeah, it's quite, this one is quite interesting because. The injector yeah customer wants to uh, request to replace this one and yeah a shout out first to sir pill sir pill shout out thanks for trusting me uh to your baby here baby land cruiser okay now before we're gonna start we're gonna remove the negative of the battery because we're dealing with the uh, uh heater plug or the glow plug that one is a positive so we're gonna remove the negative of the battery before we gonna start and we're gonna uh, remove this top portion yeah the air duct here you know remove that one so we can access the uh, injector here yep There you go. That's the upper part. Now we can see all the injector, six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yep, that's the gasket. Don't forget this one to bring it back later. Okay, I already loosened the uh, nut here. Uh, six of them, it's already loosened. And yeah, it's already loosened there. And the one tools that I use for loosening that one is this one. Uh, I, prefer, I prepared to use this one because there's a, like a big wide flat edge here. Yeah, rather than this one. Yeah, I recommend to use this one. It's better, more leverage, and yeah, it's quite quite wide here. Not like this one, quite narrow. So yeah, I do that one. Like I think more five of the injector I use this one, and the other one here is the last one at the six cylinder. It's quite hard. Uh, you cannot access this one here, but yeah, I use this one. Lucky I have tools for this one, like uh, I don't know what you call this one. And yeah, that's the tools that I use. I crack it up and then yeah. This one, I don't prefer to use this one. But if it's already loosened by this one, you can use this one already. And now we're going to transfer here. I'm going to grab some lights. I'm going to transfer here and we're going to remove all the connector here also. This is the fun part here because this one is quite hard here. Now we're gonna remove all the uh, all the 17 nut here also, the one that connect on the uh, the pump, fuel pump. So yeah, I will remove that one there. Remove the bracket here so I can remove all the rail. Okay.
Okay guys, I already removed all the nut here at the back of the pump. Yep, I just only mark it up all like number three cylinder and that's the first one I removed. Yeah, that's the that's my technique to mark it. Number three cylinder and that's the first thing. That's the first one that I removed. So yeah, that's my mark there. I will all mark it up. And I don't want to remove all the rail because yeah, you can still my goal is to access only the injector. So yeah. So yeah, I just leave the rail there because it's already uh free here to remove. So yeah, it's easy later to put it back. Yeah, I just I just uh leave the rail here. And now I'm gonna remove all the uh nut here, 17. This one, six of them, so I can remove the return pipe here. And the return pipe hose is here. I remove it also here. So yeah, we can remove the pipe here, the return pipe. Yep, that's the one that I'm gonna do now. And hopefully injectors not cease. Okay, I'll do that one now. There we go. Return pipe. Okay, now we're gonna remove the injector, the pan part. We're gonna use a deep socket. It's a 21 deep socket. Uh, I think impact can impact can reach this one. It's a better impact because it's quite thick. Uh, yeah, we'll try to put this one out. We'll try to remove the number two. Okay, yeah, that one is fit there. Lucky, it's not seized. One. Number two injectors not seized. Lucky. There you go. First injector that we removed, it's not seized. Number second cylinder. Yeah, that's how it looks. There's a washer here. Okay. Uh, I will uh, try to make it forward because this one's quite boring. I will update you if uh, there's some cease ejector. Okay, guys, uh, update uh, injector. Lucky there's no cease injector, so I already removed it. Uh, the two is left on the car, but it's already loosened. Uh, the four is already here. And uh, actually, when you do this one, you're going to replace also the washer. Yeah, here's the washer. Uh, at the tip of the injector this is the back one this is the tip uh, the one that's inside the cylinder this one the washer here show you or remove this one washer yep that washer yeah, this washer this one actually this one every time you do an injector you're gonna replace this one but uh, uh, I go to Toyota and they give me a different washer. Uh, I think this one is not a genuine one. It's an aftermarket one. So I cannot find a washer that fits with this one. So uh, my plan is to just sandpaper this one a little bit. And just reuse this one. Turn around like this. And that's enough. Yeah, just to clean the surface just to make it flatten again yeah but yeah i recommend to replace this one but yeah we don't have some parts so yeah uh, i'm not lucky so yeah i'm gonna reuse that one because the new injector has no washer included the only washer that include is on the top one the return one you see here it's only the return one with the, the one with the washer this one See, that's the only return washer. But here at the bottom, it's meant to be this one sit here, but nothing. There's not included. So yeah, like that. And yeah.
Okay guys, take note. The new injector that I install, it's like 22 socket. That's the new size of the new injector. And the old one is 21 socket. Uh, if you end up doing like 22 socket, you cannot use the deep the impact socket because it's too thick. Yeah, you cannot use 22 socket. Uh, it's hitting the the yeah this one is hitting there so you cannot tie it so if you end up like doing 22 socket with the new uh, injector you're gonna use a normal socket a normal deep socket not not the impact one okay just take note with that one okay okay take note again uh, put the washer first before the the rail okay washer first now we can put the return rail Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make